HPV infection is infection caused by the double-stranded DNA virus that is one of the oncogenic viruses, goes into the cell and can cause several diseases. Human papillomavirus that belongs to the high-risk group causes cervical cancer. There is another group of human papillomavirus that we commonly call low-risk. They are very rarely cause cancer. There are also type of human papillomavirus that not involved in any of genital diseases, like flat warts. Many people are asking, if I have a wart on my skin, on my finger, that's how I got my HPV. It's not exactly true, because this is a different type of a virus. What are the implications of being infected with human papillomavirus? If you have a big lesion, it's going to prevent you from having your normal life, from exercising, from having intercourse, from going to the bathroom, from cleaning yourself. So those are worst case scenario. And the worst worst case scenario is having high risk human papillomavirus not being examined or being examined and not being compliant and letting it to progress to something very, very difficult to treat. There is no specific treatment for human papillomavirus. There is no medication for it. There is no antibiotic for it. So what you do, you try to wake up immune system and you apply chemical substances, laser, you burn it, you cut it, you freeze it, it's gone. Is it gonna come back? Most likely. But this is the nature of the disease. The vast majority of the population who is actually active, 85% of people have human papillomavirus at some point of their lives. How can you prevent it from happening? Healthy lifestyle. Annually pap smears, checkups, repeat pap smears. Don't be afraid of that. 